a very good day to you ma'am my topic for the presentation is tools of evaluation in education and teaching education evaluation can be considered as the process of determining the following aspects of teaching and learning process a teacher can employ any one of the available tools of education at his or her disposal to know about the extent to which educational objectives are being achieved the effectiveness of the teaching learning experiences provided in the classroom situation the first and most commonly used method is questionnaire which is conducted by writing on a paper it is generally self administrated in which person go through the questionnaire and responds as per the instruction it is considered to be the most cost effective tool of evaluation in terms of administration while developing teacher should ensure that it is simple concise and clearly stated evaluation done with the help of questionnaire is quantitative the second kind of evaluation is through interview Interview is the second most important technique used for evaluation in which the student participating in evaluation are interviewed. Interview can help in getting information both quantitatively and qualitatively. Interview can be conducted in groups or individually. It is a time consuming process therefore it should be arranged as per the convenience of the interviewer and the interviewee. It also can be used to evaluate a program at the time of exist of students called exist interview. Interview should be held in a quiet room and the information obtained should be kept confidential. An interview guide can be created which is objective guideline to be followed by the interviewer. Evaluation can also be conducted through the observation which is a direct visualization of the activity performed by the student. It is very useful in assessing the performance of the student to know how many skills they have attained. There is a scope of subjectivity in observation and the same can overcome by developing an objective criterion. Students should also be aware of the criteria so that they can prepare themselves accordingly and the anxiety levels will be controlled. Teacher should also prepare himself to enable fair assessment. Rating scale is another tool of assessment in which the performance of the students is measured on a continuum. Rating scale provides objectivity to the assessment. Later on, grades can be given to the students based on the performance on rating scale. Checklist is a two-dimensional tool used to assess the behavior of the student for its presence or absence. Teacher can evaluate the performance of the student with a detailed checklist of item and well-defined and developed criteria. Checklist is an important tool that can evaluate students' performance in the clinical area. Order in which steps to be used to com- complete the procedure can be put in sequential order which help the teacher to check whether the required action is carried out or not. It is an important tool used in both summative and formative assessment. Attitude scale differs from the rating scale. An attitude scale measures the feeling of the students at the time of answering the question. Attitude scale contains a group of statements that reflects opinion on a particular issue. Participant is asked the degree to which he agrees or disagrees with the statement. Usually 5 points scale is used to assess the attitude of the student. To avoid any kind of bias, equal number of positively and negatively framed statement is included. Semantic differential. Another scale used to measure the attitude of the students is semantic differential. This tool contains bipolar scales like good, bad, rich, poor, negative, positive, active, passive, etc. Number of intervals between two adjectives is usually old like 5 or 7 so that the middle figures represent neutral attitude. A self report or diary is a narrative record maintained by the student which reflects his critical thoughts after careful observation. It can be a one time assessment or regular assessment. Regular assessment is maintained in a spiral book which can be evaluated on daily, weekly, monthly or semester basis. Self report or diary helps in improving any existing program or constructing a new one based on self report submitted by the student. Last type of evaluation is anecdotal notes. Anecdotal record is the note maintained by teachers on performance or behavior of students during clinical experience. It proves to be a very valuable tool for both summative and formative evaluation of the student's performance. It is maintained soon after the occurrence of event. It is an assessment done on continuous basis that allows student to be judged fairly. It is the duty of teacher to give feedback to the students. Hope I made my points clear and understandable. That is for my presentation. Thank you ma'am.